Um, when the fire department puts water on that truck, it's going to cause chlorine gas. So we need everybody who ha is still at their home in Buchanan Estates, or anywhere around the Epps Mill area, to stay in their houses. It's very important that they stay in because it's going to produce chlorine gas. For their safety, they need to stay inside. They need to turn off all their air conditioning units, heat units, especially bring your pets inside. Nobody should be in outside at this time because it's dangerous. For your safety, please stay inside. Please shelter inside, bring your pets in, and just be really, really careful. Um, I guess that's that. <laughs> I'm just, I just hope everybody will listen to us. It, they could harm themselves. Um, some of if they they could be medically injured if they don't follow our advice right now. It's just important, you know, that everybody be careful. It's too late to get out now. They have to stay in. Place. Th they have to stay in place. We um, thought we had evacuated everybody, but some people apparently did not leave their homes. So there are still people in. It's we want to protect everybody. We want to be everybody to be safe. So please stay inside your homes. Now, is that a matter of the deputies never got to them or they're refusing to leave? I, I, I don't know yet. I just know that there, we have found some people who are still inside their homes. Do you know about how many? I do not. And do you know what the effects are if you say do have the chlorine? Um, Patrick, this is Patrick Miller. He's in, um, from the Emergency Medical Services. Uh, some of the effects, they're going to have some respiratory issues, uh, some burning, watery eyes. They're going to have, uh, they will, uh, skin irritation if you're outside, but that's with direct contact. Uh, mostly just some burning sensation in the throat, nose. Uh, of course, you're going to be smelling the chlorine gas, um, but they need to stay inside, stay away. Um, mostly respiratory issues are what's going to be involved with this if they get outside. No, ma'am, I do not know that if they just refused to leave or if they were sleeping when they came by and they didn't get up or, you know, they just said, I'm not going to leave my home. What time exactly do we know? Are they going to put water Now. Now, is it still six hours that people can't go back into their home for? We, we don't know. After yet. this, they'll reevaluate and then they'll determine the exact time when people can start returning back to their homes. So it could be longer than six could hours? Could be. One, one question I have for Lisa earlier is, what about, you know, a few days from now, is there still going to be chlorine gas in people's houses? As, it, as the days go on, it's going to dissipate and burn off. So it'll still be in low-lying areas. For, that's why they're wanting to do the six hours or longer. But after that, it should be dissipated and everybody should be fine. How long will the respiratory problems persist if they, do, if they are affected today? Uh, they're going to, they need to seek some medical attention if possible. Uh, it's going to be... Just difficulty breathing, shortness of breath, uh, mostly. Uh, they could have some uh, long-term issues, but that's with high exposures. Uh, we're not looking at that. This is going to be a low exposure with the wind distribution as it comes from the scene, so they should be fine. But just stay inside your house. That would prevent any kind of uh, contact with the gas. We're having some people on Facebook ask us. You know, you've evacuated that one neighborhood. Now you've got people in the neighboring neighborhoods wanting to know, am I safe or should I just go ahead and leave too? Is well, we go by guidelines. We have books that we go by. It looks at airspeed and it, how much you have to evacuate around with the airspeed and the chemical. And they went through and they've calculated that and they determined that what they've done is sufficient for now. They're monitoring um, where the areas are right now and you know, if you're just in that general area, just stay in your house just to be safe.